Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Amazon affiliate website using WordPress and WooCommerce. I'm going to take you step by step on how to make this amazing site all the way from nothing to having a full blown beautiful site. All right, guys, so the site that we're going to create looks like this. So this is the website that we are going to create in this video. I created this website around the baby niche, as you can see but you can use any niche you want. This site looks really, really beautiful, as you can see, very professional. And the best part, it's really easy to make. I'm going to show you how to make it step by step. As you can see, we have all most loved products. We have the cribs, we have our happy clients, we have some logos, we have the privacy policies, cookies, Amazon affiliate disclosure. Uh, if we go to all products, you can see all the products uh, that load. There we go, all the products that we have. Now we're going for about, about us with a little baby. <laughs> okay, then we go to contact us. There we go. And if you go back to home, basically, this site is actually linked to your Amazon affiliate account. So when someone clicks on the product, say for example, someone clicks on this product, which costs $300, and they <clears throat> decide to come here and buy it on Amazon, actually takes them to your Amazon affiliate link, and then you will get a commission if they decide to purchase this uh, product specifically. Or any other product, because the way the Amazon affiliate uh, works actually, you get any product that they purchase once they click on your link within 24 hours, basically. So you get 24 hours, whatever they buy within 24 hours, after clicking your link, it's basically your commission. All right, guys, so before we get started, I want to take this opportunity to tell you to please consider subscribing to the channel. We're going to be posting one video every week about digital marketing, affiliate marketing, how to make websites, how to make money online, and whatever's going on within my digital agency. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit the like button if you find this content valuable in any way or if it helped you in any way. And guys, let's get started with this website. The first thing we're going to do is actually set up our web hosting and domain. And domain. So hosting and domain are the two things we need for launching our website for the world to see. So domain is the name of your website. So this is what people will, will use to find you on search engines. Hosting is a place where your website files will be stored on. So it's a server basically, it'll be stored on a server. Okay, so now the step one is actually making sure your domain is available. So I actually provided the link below, right there, huancabra.org at SiteGround. And then step two is basically purchasing domain and hosting from the link below, huancabra.org at SiteGround. So I'm actually gonna start and purchase a uh, domain right now and actually get a uh, hosting. So you guys can see the process is really simple and really straightforward. And voila, we're here on SiteGround. So we're gonna go over here where it says manage uh, hosting. Okay. And then here's the plans. We can either go for either three, but I rather could recommend go grow big uh, because it has unlimited sites, websites that you can actually use as a subdomain and show your clients and so forth. But for this tutorial purposes, we're gonna use the startup. So if I mean, if you're like a uh, you know, tight on budget, always go for a startup and we go from there. Okay, so we're gonna uh, click this domain right here, webdesignaccelerator.com. Uh, so yeah, and the great thing about SiteGround, it's the SiteGround, first of all, uh, their hosting is very amazing, is recommended by WordPress. And once you actually purchase a domain and also the hosting from SiteGround, this goes live immediately. So once you once you purchase it, it goes live. You're already having a live site, basically. So just click proceed. Uh, let's see if this one is available. Design and celebrate. So congratulations, it's available. Uh, here's when you wanna enter your email here. So uh, so basically, here's a d different uh, periods. You can go for 24 or 36 months, but for this tutorial purposes, we're going for the 12 months. As you can see, it's uh, $3.95 per month. Uh, so this is a great promotion. It's like actually very, very good price for the type of quality and the type of support you're going to receive from SiteGround. SiteGround, it actually has very great customer service. They actually, uh, you know, help me with certain things when I need them. Uh, they're always there. So it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. So uh, don't go for a trial because it's going to be a waste of money because then you have to pay, you know, it's just for one month basically. And then it's a setup fee. So just go for 12 months. 
Okay, so then it says domain registration. All right, so domain registration. Always uh, go for domain privacy. Uh, just because uh, you don't want all these spammers actually hitting you up saying, hey, do you want a CO? Do you want a logo? Do you want all this? Do you want this? Do you want that? It just gets so frustrating, such a headache. So just, just you know, just spend twelve dollars and you get the main privacy. No one can actually get your email, your address, nothing like that. Basically, uh, so uh, you know, confirm. You know, you want to read your terms of services and your privacy policy. I uh, already read these. Uh, then you can, if you want to receive discounts, sometimes they have discounts like, you know, on the holidays and uh, certain days. So there will be discounts here, but you know, it's all right. I don't want that. I don't be promoted. So now you just click on pay now. All right. So now it says your order has been, your account was successfully created. Uh, so now just click basically proceed to customer area. Once you click on customer area, area it's going to take you to my site ground account sometimes it takes a little bit you know some time to actually load here so right once you're here basically just click on set up site i don't know why it's just failed but yeah awesome so now you are adding a new website with domain so now first of all i want to say congratulations you already have your domain and you already have your hosting so now just click on start new website uh select so like WordPress, of course, uh, enter your email right here. And then enter your password. Uh, please use a, a good email and a good password because a password you can remember, because if you forget your password for uh, WordPress for any reason, you know, this is the email they're going to send it to you. So please use a good email. Don't just put in bullshit email, you know, put a real email, uh, then click finish. And we use WordPress because WordPress is the number one CMS and it's the best one. Okay. So it wasn't even two minutes. Uh, it was less than you know a couple of seconds actually. Uh, so now we go here and go and click on manage site. We're just gonna go quickly to WordPress, uh, install and manage. Then we're gonna click over here at login to admin panel. And boom, we're up and running. Just click exit here. And there, we're in the back end of the website. Now, if you come over here and actually uh, enter your domain, you will see that your website is up and running. Step two, fixing our WordPress settings and installing our theme. All right, guys. So right now we are in the back end of our WordPress website. So the first thing we're going to do is actually install our theme. So we're going to click here on appearance and then come to themes, click on themes. Then we're going to scroll up and click on add new. After that, we're going to come over here and search theme and type in Astra. This is the theme that we're going to use for this tutorial. Uh, click on install. Then click on activate. Then what you want to do is to actually delete the old one just to keep things nice and tidy. Okay, so once you've done that, what we're going to do now is install our drag and drop uh, plugin, which is called Elementor. This is going to make us, it's going to make it easy to actually edit the text, edit the pictures, and actually move things around. So we're going to come over here, type in Elementor. It's right here, so just click install now. Then activate. Then what we're gonna come do is come over here to appearance, and then click on Astra options. Then you see where it says install importer plugin, just hover over that and click on it. These templates that Astra has to offer. What we're gonna do now is come over here to e-commerce. And then you can actually select any e-commerce theme you like the best. I'm going to select this one. Uh, I'm just click on it. And then I'm going to actually uh, click on import site. This may take a minute or two. Okay, awesome, guys. So now the import is complete and we can actually go see the site now. So if we come over here and then go see our website, bam, 
we're almost done. Now we just need to customize, add our own pictures and our add our own feeling to this website, basically. And we're almost done. See, you guys already have a beautiful uh, website. You guys have the domain, have the hosting. Uh, only thing now we need to do is, again is just switch out the products, switch out the the pictures, and make it more tailored more to our niche, basically. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is exit out of here. We're gonna come over here to uh, settings. And then click on uh, general. Then we're gonna just right here where it says site title. We're gonna put the name of our fictitious business. So for me, it's Baby Co. For you, write whatever the business name is. Tagline the best baby company in New York. And then basically, I'm just gonna save changes. Always save your cha save the changes. Then I come over here to permalinks. And then uh, right now is that plain. So basically, if we make a, another page, say for example, about page, instead of saying about, it's going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ABC about basically. So instead of that, we want to click on post name. And then what's going to happen is it's going to say the domain name dash about or dash contact us. And it's better for Google as well to rank you. All right. So save changes. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to users, all users, and then click on your user that you just made. Uh, over here, you can actually edit the look and feel of the back end. So we can change the colors, black, blue, coffee, sunrise, ocean, and midnight. I'm going to go for blue. Uh, if you want to change your password, here's where you can change your password for your WP admin login. And just remember, click update profile. And that's it. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do now is actually set up our WooCommerce plugin. So we're gonna click right here where it says run the setup wizard. Then we're gonna enter our country. So for me, it's United States and our address, 99 Wall Street, that's my business address. Uh, you know, enter your city, state, postal code, and then what currency for me is gonna be the US. Uh, for you, whatever it is, put whatever you know currency you're gonna use. And then just click, let's go. I'm gonna click continue. We're not going to use Stripe or PayPal or anything like that because, again, we're just affiliate. Uh, click continue. Uh, I'm just remove that because we're not going to ship anything, actually. Uh, Amazon's going to take care of that. So just click continue. I'll let it load. All right. So I'm just going to click. I'm just going to not select none of this stuff. Just click continue. Uh, continue. I mean, I'm just skip this stuff for now. I don't want chat pack and you're ready to start selling and awesome. Just now I'm just click here, visit dashboard and that's it. And now we have WooCommerce all set up. Let's dismiss these stuff because we're not going to need any shipping methods or any zones. Step three, how to sign up for Amazon associate account. All right, guys, so the first thing we are going to do is actually go to Amazon.com. Once we're in Amazon.com, we're going to scroll all the way down until we hit kind of like the foot area. So right here. Uh, so where it says to make money with us, we're going to come here and click on become an affiliate. So we're going to click on become an affiliate. Let the site load. And what's going to happen is. OK, so now we are here at the Amazon Associates page. So basically what we want to do is come here and click on join now for free. So once we click on join now for free, it's going to tell us to sign in with either our Amazon account and it's going to pull data from there, or we can just create an Amazon account right here. So I already have an Amazon account. I'm show you how it looks once I'm signed. So I'm signed in right now into my Amazon account. And then basically it takes me back to the affiliate program where we're signing up. And it's going to ask me to, uh, you know, use my address. So I'm using this address, which is my business address. And then basically it says, who is the main contact for this account? Yeah, the payee right here. So, yeah, I'll be me. So I'm going to just click on next. Let the system load. Now it's going to ask for the website that we're going to use, right? So we're going to use the website that we have been creating. Uh, even though it's not finished, we're going to still put it here. Because by the time they actually even check the site, we're going to have this thing up and running, looking as professional and beautiful as any other site that we can find. Okay. 
So now we're gonna click on next. Uh, are, you, are you? Let me see. Are any of the websites or mobile apps listed above directly permanent? So if you are actually targeting uh, kids under 13, then you know you gotta click yes. If no, just click click no and then confirm. Okay, so what's your preferred social store ID? For me, it's gonna be just the name of the business. So it's gonna be Baby Co. Uh, what is your website or mobile app about? Whatever your description of your website is, it just goes here, basically. Uh, please enter, let me just remove that and remove the space. Okay, so now it's gonna say, which of the following topics are best describes your website? I'm gonna just go for home or let me see yep right here home uh what type of amazon items do you intend to list on your website so i'm just gonna say uh where is it home and garden so basically you're just uh kind of like answering these things depending on the niche that you pick so just answer it truthfully uh what type of website uh mobile app so it's a niche website uh, when it says how do you drive traffic, just click on email, blogs, and SEO. So how do you utilize your website and apps to generate income? We're just going to actually click on Amazon Associates. And how do we build links? Uh, it's a content management system. So WordPress is a content management system. How many total uh, visitors? So we can just say less than 500. What's the primary reason for joining to monetize my site? How did you hear about us? Uh, just write word of mouth. This is kind of tricky sometimes because for some reason, even though it's right, they sometimes mark it wrong. So yeah, just play with it. So see guys, it's P three A Y four X Y. I'm mean, gonna just click, you know, terms and listen. I already read this before, but you know, you read this and then click on finish. Oh, and congrats. There you go. Thanks. F thank you for applying to the Amazon Switches program. The, the unique ID is baby co 20. So we're all good for that. And then it says enter your payment and tax information. I'm just gonna do that later. And we are good to go. Now what happens is when we go to Amazon dot com, we're gonna have actually a different bar on top. So let me just show you what I mean. So if we go to Amazon now, we have the site stripe. Now, if we go look for a baby product like this one, even though I don't consider this a baby product, maybe for clothing or stuff, we can get the link or the link for it right there by clicking on text. Oh, there we go. We click on the text and then it shows you know, this short link. And then you can use that for to send it to someone or put it on your website, basically. And that's it, guys. Congratulations. You guys already have an Amazon affiliate account. Yay. Now it's time to add products and customize the website. Step four, customizing the design of the website and adding your products. Guys, we're almost done. Okay, guys. So now we're going to customize this website and make it look and feel like our niche website. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to change this logo. So they have this um, print logo. Uh, so we're going to change that. So we're going to go over here to Canva. So it's called Canva.com. Uh, we're going to go over here and uh, where it says create design. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to type in logo. You can select logo. Then we can let this thing load. Uh, so they have lots of different designs already pre-made. You can actually just select one and then just uh edit it and uh, trying to make it more like design it or like kind of like edit it and make it feel your own. So I'm just going to come over here and uh, click on baby because my site again is for babies. Uh, so I like I like this one a lot. I'm just going to change this uh, lettering into the same letters, same colors that the site already has. So I'm not going to really play much with it. So I'm going to come over here, pick color from page. Uh, and this what I'm using right now is a it's a Chrome extension. You can find it in the Google Chrome extensions, and then basically it's called uh, I think it's called um, yeah Colorzilla. Okay, so basically I'm gonna come over here. Uh, then I'm gonna just add a new color. Then I'm just gonna 
add that color and then I'm just change this background to a white background and uh, boom we got our logo fast and easy for us so now I'm just download this thing a uh, PNG then download uh, okay awesome so now we're gonna just go over here to our website and then click on customize okay awesome so now we're gonna go over here where it says header and then we're gonna go to site identity and then we're gonna click on change logo so now we're gonna drag and put that same logo that we just created over here I'll select it and my is gonna crop it a little bit but it's enough that it works for us and then crop image and bang just click on publish and now we have the baby co so that's published now I'm just gonna exit out of here and exit out of uh, these tabs now I'm just gonna change this girl right here so we're gonna click on edit with Elementor and just click edit with Elementor now the whole Elementor plugin is going to start kicking in and this is pretty easy. So now this is just drag and drop. All right. So now we're just going to click on this girl and you see it's a, it's a simple image. We're just going to uh, change that image. I already have a couple images f uh, regarding this. I'm just going to look for them now. Okay. So I'm going to use this beautiful big chunky baby over here uh, okay and that's it now we have a beautiful chunky baby now let's see how it looks well this baby looks pretty big I'm just like uh, make it look a little bit smaller go for medium how about there you go medium and now we have our first image now it looks more like a baby site you see now Let's change this text so it can actually look more like a nice baby site. So best quality baby products. So it's it's pretty easy. See, it's just this is really really easy. We print what you want. Uh, we have everything baby that you want that's a lot of stuff right there we have everything we have let me just erase that we have everything baby uh and then basically we're gonna come over here now edit this text and we have the best quality products for babies in new york Let me just get this going and then just click update. Now we're gonna just see how it looks. We're gonna come over here, click on view page. And you see, now it's looking much, just the up the fold looks just like a baby uh, site. Now we're gonna uh, change this and actually add different content so it can look more like uh babies we're gonna actually add cribs so we're gonna go find cribs i think i already have some cribs i'm gonna come over here and again click edit with elementor and let it load So I'm gonna change her. I'm gonna add a uh, image. I'm gonna add this one, or let's add this one. Insert media, and now it looks more like a baby site. Now we're gonna change change this guy. We're gonna uh, add this crib right here. These are some expensive cribs, by the way. I think this one costs by itself like two thousand dollars. So it's crazy. Um, I'm gonna change this girl and we're gonna actually add another crib um, or maybe is, let's just add this. No, let's keep the same thematic. Uh, let's go for this one. I'll let it load, sometimes take some time. 
and boom now we have three cribs right there you gotta change the text okay guys so now basically we're just gonna change the name of these uh products uh, i'm gonna come over here and uh find the name of these products all right so this is called a pod two and one converter crib it actually cost three thousand dollars wow I'm just going to delete this one. Uh, matter of fact, I like this crib of the week. I'm going to write crib of the week. Uh, then over here, I'm going to, this is called, I believe this is called, let me see. So this is some nifty Uba birch thing. Uh, customized rotation right here. As you can see, I just copied and paste and just dropped it there. Sorry for that loud noise. Now we're gonna see the next one. This is called mod to converter. And that's it. New t uh, this is new crib edition. Just just change this. Crib edition. And then most loved design. Sure, let's go for that. Click on update. Let's see how it's looking so far. And bang, we have the baby. And then we have the nice cribs. Uh and then we now see our feature products. Now we gotta change this. Uh, we gotta change her to so change her basically i would do is actually go to pixels so pixels is a free uh website to get images so it's free stock images so it's called pixels here you can type in you know the, your niche or whatever image you're looking for and then go from there so you click on these three buttons right here and then look for style and she's right here now i'm gonna actually add a nice looking baby if I can find the baby. Nope, I don't have a baby here, so I'm gonna just come over here, go to Pixel, and look for a baby. Let it load. I like this baby right here. And now we have the baby. Now we just gotta drag it over here to the website. Let that go. enter the media and see now we have a nice little baby but it's bottom right so we're gonna put it uh center center so we can see the baby uh now it says buy this t-shirt at a discount i'm just gonna switch, switch t-shirts to chair and then click on update let's see how that looks see it's coming out really really nice now Uh, we'll change this uh, later But for now we have our nice home page now. Let's just fix the about page now So let's go to about Okay, so first we gotta come over here Just view page Let's go to about and let's fix that So here is the same thing basically you just come over here edit with Elementor let it load and then basically you start editing uh, just click on this and then you can just come over here and then remove the Lord Ibsen and say we are the best baby company in New York then just click on update and voila see it's coming together now now what I'm gonna do here is actually add uh let's add something maybe no let's not add anything so here's the same thing we just keep let me just change these icons so you can see you come over here change the icons we're gonna go for something like a nice smile there we go 
Then we're gonna change this one into this is what they have for baby. You can just come over here to the search bar and click on baby. Then we're gonna come over here and look for baby again. Baby carriage this time. And you can see how they even have the icons. They have the little kid right here. So it's really, really coming together. Now I'm like just this is since this is just basically tutorial purposes. I'm not gonna like finish this whole about us, but you can see how easy it is to switch things around. Uh, now, if you basically um, want to say, for example, you just want to see this. Um, just click update. You want to see the page now? Just come over here. And now you can see the page in full. Look at that really nice page. I'm gonna come over here, fix the contact us real quick. It says hello. I'm gonna come here again, edit with Elementor. Uh, right here, actually, I wanna add a picture of a nice, cute little baby. So I'm gonna find over here. I'm gonna come over here and uh, I'm gonna go for image. Actually, I'm at it right here. Then I'm, I'm gonna just come over here and then I'm gonna find a nice little baby. I'm gonna find this guy. It looks very fun to be around, insert media, and voila. I'm just making him a little smaller. Or thumbnail, I guess. There you go. Then click on update. And let's see how that looks. There we go. This ask for queries is really weird, so I'm just gonna uh, switch that out. Ask your question. And you see how this thing is really, really coming together now. Now, if you uh, now basically you just can play with this basically, and you can uh, start fixing all this up to make it look more like yours. Now I'm just gonna get out of this and come over here, go to view page. So now we've finished the contact, we finished the about us. Uh, for all products, uh, all your products are gonna basically be here. Uh, we're gonna just start adding products right now. So let's go and add some products. So let's go to our dashboard. All right, guys, so now we're gonna add our categories and also some products. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is actually go to categories and change the categories that we already have. So we gotta go over here to products and then click on categories. And then basically the theme itself already brings in certain categories like mugs and t-shirts. So what I'm gonna do is actually delete these And then I'm gonna add cribs. So whatever category you have, you know, just add it here. And then just add new category. And then you should see cribs. And then I'm, the second category I'm gonna use is gonna be dressers. So yeah, so just add dressers there and add new category. And that's it, now we have two categories. So now what we're gonna do is come over here to all products. And these are all the products that the theme itself already brings. I'm just gonna delete them. I don't wanna see no mugs on my site or any weird t-shirts. All right, so we did that. Now we're gonna come over here, click on add new. So basically to save some time, I just put all the products I'm gonna add here on this uh, sheet, basically. So the way I did this, I went to, uh, I copied the, the title. I added it here, and then I went over here on site stripe, got the, the, the link text right here, then put it, then put it right there. 
And then for the description, I just got the description from right there, in essence. And then the pictures, I'm going to show you later where I got the pictures from. So with all further ado, we're just going to start copying these things. So first start with the title. So product name. Okay, so now we're going to add the description right here. I already have it. So I'm just going to copy paste this. Now it's gonna uh, over here. We're gonna come over here and click on affiliate product, which is gonna ask us for the URL, and I have the URL right here. Which remember, guys, I got it from the site Stripe from Amazon. Then we're just gonna write buy on Amazon. Then the price is seven ninety nine, and that's it. Now we're just gonna have to add the product image which is actually this one right here. And then just click update. Now let's go see how it looks. So now when someone clicks on that product, you're gonna see this. And then they can just come over here and click on buy on Amazon. And then it's gonna take them to Amazon. And then as you can see, if you come over here to URL, you can see my link, well, my unique Amazon associate these right there, baby co. And I did actually something wrong. So this doesn't go there. It actually goes over here. Let me erase that. Put this here. So I like it more to the side. And then if I go back, it should be on the side. Yep, right here. See, now it looks much better for me. And that's it, guys. That's what we were doing for the products. Now I'm going to add more products. I'm going to keep adding products. So I'm going to come over here, click on Add New. The second one is the Pod 2 and 1 Converter. This one is very, very expensive. It costs around three thousand two hundred dollars so if someone if you could sell that if someone buys it you're getting a good commission off of that and here's the pod too uh, let me just set product image just drop it right there you add that and then you come over here external affiliate product and then you look get the link which remember I got it from Amazon. Now we just add that there and buy on Amazon and the price was 3200. Don't use commas. It doesn't take comm commas. All right. Now just click on pop up oh, and don't forget to use the categories too. So this is actually a crib. So I'm going to go here and click on the category. I'll do the same thing for the other one as well. All right, guys, uh, I'm just going to finish all these. I'm going to finish adding all these products now. And once I'm done, I'm going to come back. Okay, guys, so now we finished adding all the products, all the rest of the products. So now we have a total of eight products. Now, what we're going to do is actually have this displayed in the home page. So the first thing we're going to do is go back to categories. And then we're going to open up the website and uh, another tab. As you can see, our featured products and uh, most low products is not there anymore. So basically, we're going to come over here, edit with Elementor. And it's not there anymore no because we erased the categories from last time. So now we just need to add our new categories. And then it's going to be displaying there within the short code of that's provided. So it's going to come over here. You see, just click on that, and you see that it says product limit eight, columns four, so forth and so forth. And you see the category is called mugs. So now we just gotta come back here and get the category uh, cribs. So just copy that. Come over here, just pull, paste it right there where it says mugs, and then update. All right, so now the next one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here 
and we're gonna click on this and it says t-shirts can then actually add dresser dressers and then we're gonna copy and paste right here all right so just click update and now you'll see the page view page and it should be there forgetting that we might need to start them okay so now what we're going to do is come over here to the product page go to products go products and then we need to like heart them <laughs> like and there we go. It may take a while to load. Let me just see. All right, with that being done, let's refresh it. And now you see the products are there. These are, are the cribs and these are the most loved products. So now we have everything on display. We have a nice, beautiful niche site for babies. Uh, now we can actually come over here to all products. And you can see all our products right there. And say for example, someone wants to buy this crib they can just come over here they can read the description and then come over here and click on buy on amazon and then again this is your uh unique url that actually gives you the commission if someone purchases it so that's a good thing about this and yeah now you have a full-blown beautiful well done affiliate website so just pat yourself in the back <laughs> Well, give yourself a round of applause and then pat yourself in the back. You just create an amazing website. Uh, now it's just time to bring traffic to it and then just get paid. Let the money start flowing in. So, guys, one more time, if you found this video valuable, please like the video and subscribe. We're going to be posting uh, videos every week about digital marketing, affiliate marketing, and overall marketing within my uh, agency as well. If you guys have any questions about this video or any if you guys get stuck anything please just comment below and hey i'm a night owl so i will be there and i will actually answer the questions and provide you best and give you the best answer as possible basically all right guys without further ado see you next video bye bye